Hello friends, we saw in the last lesson power P consumed by an electrical circuit is equal to product of potential difference V and the current I flowing through it or P equal to V into I. And the SI unit of power is what represented by W. So that is the power consumed by electrical circuit that carries 1 amp of current when operated at a potential difference of 1 volt. And we typically use kilowatt for practical purposes, 1 kilowatt equal to thousand watts. Since electrical energy is the product of power and time, the unit of electrical energy is watt hours. So one watt hour, R is the energy consumed when one watt of power is used for one hour. As one watt is very small for practical purposes, we use kilowatt hour as the unit. So the commercial unit of electrical energy is kilowatt hour, commonly known as unit on our electrical bills. So 7 unit of electrical en energy means 7 kilowatt hour of electrical energy consumed by us. Air conditioners are used in houses, hotels, hospitals to keep it cooler. But running ACs continuously can give you a huge electricity bill. So we pay the electricity department to provide the electrical energy to move the electrons that is the electric current through our electrical appliances like fan, TV, AC, motors, etc. So we pay for the energy our appliances consume. And the commercial unit of electricity is kilowatt hour. So if a device with 1000 watts that is 1 kilowatt power consumption runs for an hour it consumes one unit of electricity that is one kilowatt hour of electricity and there is a cost per unit that you pay to electricity department and this cost varies from place to place so one unit equal to one kilowatt hour or thousand watt into three thousand six hundred seconds this is the commercial unit of electricity let us take some examples how much energy does a 100 watt bulb consume in 1 hour? 100 watt bulb will consume 100 by 1000 to make it kilowatt into 1 hour which is equal to 0 0.1 kilowatt hour. 100 was in watts so we divide by 1000 to make it kilowatt and we need to find in 1 hour so it becomes 100 by 1000 into 1 which is equal to 0 0.1 kilowatt hour. So how long will this bulb take to consume 1 unit of electricity? We know 1 unit equal to 1 kilowatt hour. So 1 by 0 0.1 is equal to 10. So it would take this 100 watt bulb 10 hours to consume full 1 unit of electricity. Because 10 times 0 0.1 kilowatt hour equal to 1 kilowatt hour. What about a CFL bulb of 25 watts? It will consume 25 by 1000 into 1 hour of energy which is equal to 0 0.025 kilowatt hours of electrical energy in 1 hour. So this is way lesser than the other electric bulb which consumed 0 0.1 kilowatt hour means CFLs are very cost effective than the normal bulbs and environment friendly too as we are saving on producing that much electricity. Another example, a refrigerator rated 500 watts operated for 6 hours every day. How much electricity bill you have to pay for it in a month? So total energy required for the month equal to 500 watts into 6 hours per day into 30 days per month. That is equal to 90,000 watt hours. Why watt hours? Look, day and one by day cancel out each other, remaining is watt hour. And we know commercial unit is kilowatt hour. So we divide by 1000, we get 90 kilowatt hour. That is equal to 90 units of electrical energy is consumed in one month. If the unit price of electricity is 5 rupees, you have to pay 90 into 5, that is equal to 450 rupees. Say, a one ton AC consumes 1200 watts. If you run it for six hours daily, the unit consumed per month will be equal to 1200 into six hours per day into 30 days, which is equal to 
216000 watt hours dividing it by 1000 it gets 216 kilowatt hours that is 216 units of electricity and then the unit price of electricity is 5 rupees the electricity bill will be 216 into 5 that is equal to 1080 rupees so that's costly so use it only when you need to save electricity save money and save our environment bye bye